Okay, so now very important question, huh? So I'm thinking very carefully before you answer. <coughs> knife, 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 okay, yeah. What? <laughs> so I'm jaga, so I'm take care. Okay, yeah, relax, relax. So do you think um, it is beneficial to you? Yes, because I'm learning to cook. <laughs>
have gone uh, straight and narrow, keeping themselves really, really uh, clean for for eternity, lah. Question is, they work for people in F&B or they set up their own? They work in, they work, so far they are working for people. If they set up their own, I will go down and try. Then you guys will find out. <laughs> okay, never mind. Don't take on them. So, do you feel that there's a sense of like, um, fulfillment, joy when you hear of such thing? Honest, tell me. Of course, of steady, course. Steady, definitely. I'm proud of them. I'm proud of what they have achieved. At least I know they, whatever I teach them, they are making a difference for themselves at least. Anyway, thank you, Chef. Yeah. Alright, I never take on you, uh, please. Uh, I take on you a bit and you must take on in front of the camera. So later food, you know, uh, mine just, uh, you know, yeah, uh, not them. And now comes the exciting part, where we interview the staff of HCSA. So take it away, intro. Hi everyone, I'm Nori. I'm from HCSA Academy. Nice meeting and um, I'm actually the administrator for HCSA Academy. Okay, so HCSA Community Services um, is a social service agency. Uh, we run four programs under the mothership, so to speak. So um, one of them is HCSA Academy, which is uh, the culinary course. Yeah. So, okay, mm, so for ex-offenders, right? Mm. If they are interested in in uh, signing up for this, how do they get in contact with HCSA? Okay, so basically, uh, one of my uh, work here is to do outreach to halfway houses, to the Singapore prison, um, as well as um, anyone that's interested in joining the course. So um, we do monthly talks, prison talks. Um, we do for us, for me at least. Um, I do road shows to the other halfway houses and um, you know the outreach is bigger than just the uh, um, halfway houses or ex-offenders but we do uh, provide this service or rather it's open to a vulnerable community meaning it could be youth at risk and such. Can you describe the specific training program that was developed to cater or should I say to their unique background okay. as an ex-offender? So, what we do is short, concise training um, so that um, retention is better, needs is important. So what we do is, I, we know they need to be out, of, uh, out to work immediately, as soon as possible. So that's why the concise training, we structure it so that they are able to work within five weeks. So you've been here five and a half years. Uh, can you tell us any, are there any success stories or not? Or interesting stories about the trainees? Yeah, so one of the success stories is that um, our first year batch, um, you know, graduate, he went out to the industry after one year. He did a competition, won first prize among all the culinary schools in this in Singapore. Wow. So that is an achievement for him. Yeah. Ex-offender. Ex-offender. <laughs> Only one? Ah, uh, no. There's many. So there's a lot of others who actually, from basic zero knowledge to now, they are out in the industry for nearly good five years, three to five years, and they have become sous chef, and you know, um, teaching, know. teaching, and not only <coughs> teaching but actually employing other ex offenders. Wow. Yeah, under their. Food. Do you know of anyone that operates their own F&B outlet? Um, not at the moment, but they are doing home-based business. Start small, learn the, learn the home business. Home-based, Yeah, learn the business first. Give me the address, huh? Okay lah. Right? I will order your food online, huh? I will order and I will try. Oh, and I'll do a review. Better be cooked nice here. Yeah? Because the Bruce is coming to get you. <laughs> what are the key challenges you face as a supervisor down here? Or staff down here? I mean, dealing with ex-offenders. Hi. Uh, one of the most, actually, is the emotions. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, very, very, you know, emotional person. I mean, people, generally. But um, I think it's important for them to show their emotion. Yeah, so how I face it is talk. Last question. Very important. Huh? Last one, huh? They've been here five years, huh? You told me five. Have you? Try any of the food. Obviously, you have a lot of time. Of course. Uh, okay. How can so, I not? <laughs> tell me, what is your favorite? My favorite food? Okay. Um, what are you going to be eating today? What? Caesar what? salad. <laughs> huh? 
simple, good, hey. refreshing. Hello, <laughs> your pen is so Caesar salad, right? I don't believe. Oh, my God. Very Caesar salad. Ah, please, lah. Only because I want to act healthy, lah. You know? Caesar salad, lah. <laughs> you asked favourite. You didn't ask what I eat. Your favourite is Caesar salad? Yes. I don't bluff. I don't believe. Mati, mati, I don't I don't bluff. Okay, honestly, what is what is your favorite dish down here? <laughs> I give up. Okay, okay, Drop okay. my chicken. <laughs> walk off. Do you like this cooking course? Or? Yes. How do you get to enroll in this? Uh, people recommend me. Recommend? Eh? Yeah. Ada orang recommend you? Who? People recommend him. Huh? Yeah. If you don't mind me asking, how young are you now? How young? Coming 58. Who oh, still young? The young one. <laughs> So how do you think this uh, course would help you better reintegrate into society or fit into society? I mean basically, uh, we are actually learning for, to upgrade our skills la, so that we can re reintegrate back to the society by going to work and also not getting into trouble. So, so is that a like, special selection process or anything? <laughs> no, it's your choice lah. So what's the process? Is it rigorous? No. Easy ah? It's actually easy la. <laughs> Okay, so now very important question ah. So I'm thinking very carefully before I answer. <clears throat> night, 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 okay there. <laughs> what? So I'm jaga, so I'm take care. Okay, relax, okay, relax, chill lah. Okay. Are you... No, hand away, hand away. Are you... I'm really nervous, huh? Interested? Or what is your level of interest in cooking? Mm, I'm interested because I, I want to explore myself in it. I like to cook at home as well, so I just want to learn more and you know, like upgrade my skills in it. And do you have aspirations of starting your own F&B outlet next time? Yeah, maybe a small cafe. Full power! Wow. What are you doing? Uh, break, uh, break crumbs to give the chicken taste nice. Uh. To let the chicken taste nice? Yeah. You mean uh, originally the chicken don't taste nice? No. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. How long have you been in this course? Four weeks. Are you enjoying yourself? Very. Ooh, you like cooking? Yeah. Favorite food to cook? Curry chicken, lemak chili padi. Mm. Lemak chili padi? Yeah. Have you cooked many times before? No, 40 times. Ne. How many times? 40 times. Oh. Okay, so very important question, uh, this one. Uh. What is your favorite food to make inside? Inside? There's no other one inside. Inside where? Inside where? Well, like, yeah. huh? Do you think that cooking skills that you learn down here, you can incorporate into your life? For myself, when I come out, I still do the same. So these are good habits to, to learn, to pick up. So in, in cooking course itself, are there any habits that you can use in your life? Yeah lah, don't depend on people lah. Okay. Just cook for yourself. Well, Raba, selfish yo. Raba, You guy, I tell you. Raba, yo. Thank you. Some lettuce on every food. Minis. And hard boiled egg. Presentation, very good. 4.5. Taste. <laughs> Taste is a good Do I look like rabbit to you? <laughs> Although, as you guys can see, I'm not a rabbit. Uh, so I don't normally go for rabbit food. But, I think an open mind, if you ask me to rate this, in terms of taste, actually not bad though. No. Seriously, um, I like the way the uh, the sauce, I like the salad dressing is is light, so it blends very well. It actually pairs very well with the cabbage, the hard boiled egg, and the crout crout croutons. Um, as a whole, again, very good. On to the next dish, please. Thank you, and what is served? Can you tell me please? Okay, let me make a guess. Hmm. 
I think, uh, I think this chicken. Okay, let's see. Presentation wise, I love it. I love it. Simple but nice, right? Simple but nice, everyone. Let's do this. Bon appetit. Without the sauce. C'est sûr. C'est sûr. With the sauce. Remember what my mother said to me? She said, don't talk in the mouth, it's through a joke. Okay, so. With the sauce. I love the sauce, right? The sauce. Chetio. Chinese say chetio. Uh, the flavor or the taste of the cheese really complements the chicken. Yeah. And the crumbs are really light. Mm. In some places, well, the crumbs are given so heavy, but this one is very light. So I, I love that. I love that. Don't believe me. Don't believe me. Can't order yourself. Gonna have another piece. Mm. Look at it, alright? The strawberries. Oh my gosh. Let's eat them at all. These are don't play play, huh? These are very picky, you know? Huh? So I try them. I love the light crust that's on top. Mm, the crust really makes a big, a huge difference huh, for the pudding. Um, the sauce is not that sweet. Which is, you know, we Singaporeans, we, we are very health conscious now, right? So anything that's not that sweet, just prepare it. For the bread, the pudding itself, I think, it's a bit too firm. Alright, it should be softer. Okay, it will be softer, it will be CB best. Now I guess it's best. Softer, CB best. See a difference, guys? See a difference? Okay. Alright guys, before we cut for this episode, I would like to say that this cooking academy isn't just a cooking academy, alright? It's a place where it teaches ex-offenders, people like me, a new skill so that they can better fit into society, they can better, they can earn a better income. No need to feed themselves, but to feed their families. But I think more than that, it is a place where it, it gives ex-offenders hope and a future all right so until the next episode where i will bring you to another food fmb outlet that serves food with a cause this is bruce saying goodbye for yeah. Yeah. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.